And hello, ladies and gentlemen, Aether Revolt is out. You can buy it. Look, I got a bundle. Let's open it up. It'll be fun. If you like this kind of content, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Baby Nix would appreciate it. She likes food, you know. I don't have a job. Bought this with Christmas money, you know. Baby Nix, man. Think about the baby Nix. So, yeah, there's the back of the thing. There's the front of the thing. There's a weird little box in it. I don't think there's anything in the box. It's just a weird little box in case you need a weird little box. Oh. Don't steal, kids. Bad. Also, these things, uh, I didn't show this on my Kaladesh one because I have a tendency to mess it up. So I'm going to try really hard not to mess it up. But if you go right here... There's a very, it's a strong glue, but it's a weak glue. It's hard to explain. But you have to be very careful with it. Or it'll mess up your thing. But that's okay. This isn't really what you're after when you buy these. It's just a nice little bonus that a lot of people didn't notice. I think that's a shame, because it's pretty. I'm going to try, open it up. We're doing too much damage. Because of the, see this glue? Look at this glue. Look at this glue. It, I just want my stuff. There we go. Holy shit glue. Alright. So when you tear open the fat pack thing, you kind of get like a giant poster of the box. So that's a thing that I think is kind of cool. You also get the book. And of course, the book tells you your story. The book has some art. Add to a boy, and then, like, you know, tells you your cast of characters, shows you all your cards, nice little checklist. And then you get this thing. We have an Aether Revolt, 20-sided die. Your basic land pack, which is very good to keep for drafting. Quick reference card if you need to know what stuff is or how to do things. In ten packs, let's crack into these and see what we get. How'd your uh, Aether Revolt pre-releases go? Have you opened any packs and got some crazy stuff? Please let me know. I love to hear these stories. They're so fun. Um, yeah. Put you more up there, I guess. All right. Audacious infiltrator. Front line, rabble. Metallic Reboot, great spell. Silk Weaver, elite. Natural obsolescence. Obsolete. Finn Hala. Reservoir Walker. He gives you lots of energy. I like him. Destructive tampering. Filigree crawl. Oh god, it's an artifact insect. Gross. Implement of Malice. Shielded Ava Thief. We're into our uncommons. Aerial Modification. Oh, neat. Okay, like, you put it on a vehicle, and, like, if it's a vehicle, it becomes a creature, so you don't need to crew it anymore. Plus, it gets flying. That's cool. Crackdown Construct. Pia's Revolution. Hey, it's one of the storyline cards. One red, two generic, three converted mana cost enchantment. Whenever a non-token artifact is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, return that card to your hand unless target opponent has Pia's revolution deal three damage to him or her. Either get your artifacts back or your opponent's losing some life. Like, that's pretty cool. We have an Island. Oh, this goes for the Tezzeret Planeswalker. That's what an Ethereum cell looks like. Cool. Pack 2 has a Janny on it. Is there an Janny in here? That'd be cool. I'd like an Janny. What rares are you after in this set? Is it just the chase ones, or is there anything in particular you want to brew with? I think there's lots of really neat things in here. Leave in the dust. Decommission. Frontline Rebel. Night Market Aeronaut. Silk Weaver Elite. Defiant Salvager. 
Reservoir Walker. Destructive tampering. This pack's a lot like the first pack. Filigree crawler. What am I what am I seeing here? Augmenting automaton. Deft dismissal. We are into the uncommon. Reverse engineer. I like this card a lot too. Servo schematic. And a rare. I have the monkey token, so this is great. Uh, this is Kari Zev, Skyship Raider. She's a pirate. For two mana, you get a 1-3 first strike menace. Menace means it takes two creatures to block her. Whenever Kari Zev, Skyship Raider, attacks, create a 2-1 legendary red monkey creature token named Ragavan. That's tapped and attacking. Exile the token at the end of combat. So flavor-wise, it means the monkey gets off her shoulder and attacks you and then goes back on her shoulder kind of thing. That's why he's exiled and comes into play. That's cool. Another Island. And a Thopter token. Hey, it's another Ajani. I really like that Sky Ship Raider a lot. I think she's really good. Gear up her Osprey. Taken to the custody. Bastion Enforcers. Lifecraft Cavalry. See, I said I can say it right. Renegades get away. High Spire Infusion. Verdant Automaton. Augmenting Automaton. Aether Inspector. Sounds like a shitty job. Implement of Examination. Well, that's cool. I like that. Uncommons. Treasure Keeper. I like this card a lot. Wow. Crackdown Construct. Yes! We got a Fatal Push! This is like the greatest removal they've printed in a long fucking time. Get these out of packs. Don't pay crazy prices for them. They're uncommons. And our rare is Consulate Crackdown. Ooh, it's another storyline card. Five converted mana costs involving two white for an enchantment. When Consulate Crackdown enters the battlefield, exile all artifacts your opponents control until Consulate Crackdown leaves the battlefield. Fuck you, artifact card. Oh, so many decks I want to put this in immediately. Okay. Planes. Energy Reserve. I get these. I feel like I'm playing Pokemon. This pack has Tezzeret on the front of it. Maybe Tezzeret will be in here. I mean, we got a Fatal Push. We're doing alright. <laughs> Fucking $4 a goblin. What? The foil of it's like 40 bucks. I'm just like, why? It's an uncommon. Like, that'll go down. Don't worry. Buttonline level. Metallic Rebook. Caught in the brights. Take that, you gremlin. Cruel Finality. High Spire Infusion. Resourceful Return. Implement of Combustion. Verdant Automaton. He's great in a draft, because later on you can just sink mana into him and make him huge. Augmenting Automaton. Same thing. All aboard the Untethered Express, baby. It's a train that goes where it wants. And that's fun. Okay. <laughs> I like that uncommon. Ironclad Revolutionary. Hidden Stockpile. What's this? Wow, that's good. Okay, okay. Wow, okay. Wow. Now, rare is Spire of Industry. I like this car a card a lot. It's a land. It taps for a colorless. But you can also tap, pay a life, add one mana of any color to your mana pool, activate this ability only if you control an artifact. It's basically a Glimmer Void. Like another Glimmer Voids for modern decks. And there's a foil verdant automaton. Oh, he's pretty in foil. Look at him being all verdant and a robot. And there's a planes. And there's a tip card. This one has a rating on it. Oh, I am super, like, making my own art on that card later. Wizards, you guys putting ratings on those is the biggest mistake you're ever going to make. As soon as I figure out what to put on it. Got more. These cards don't stop coming. I'm excited. I like opening new stuff. Decommission. Aether Chaser. Leaving the dust. 
Fourth Bridge Prowler. Life Calf Cavalry. Night Market Aeronaut. Implement of Ferocity. Well, that one's cool. Reservoir Walker. Implement of Malice. Alright, Renegade Rallier. This looks like it would be good in modern. Like, really good. I don't play a lot of modern, but I like that card a lot. Ravenous Intruder. Oh, it's Atog. It's a reprint of Atog, but it's a gremlin instead of being Atog. I kind of wish it was Atog. Windkin Raiders. Don't get me wrong. Having a different Atog is cool for Atog decks. Exquisite Arc Angel. There's a Mythic. A 5-5 five, five Mythic for 7 mana. Better be good. It's an Angel with Flying. If you would lose the game, instead exile Exquisite Archangel and your life total becomes your starting low total. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> Gigantic reset button. And there's a foil implement of combustion. Appears to be like a dragon statue that blows up. There's a forest. And there's a servo. Alright, we got a mythic. Probably not one of the best mythics in the set, but in Commander, I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. A lot of fun. Alrighty. Alley evasion. When you need to evade alleys. Oh, I'm going to show you something cool about Chandra's Revolution. Yeah, these two cards go together to make card. That's neat. I like that. All right, where are we? Metallic Rebuke. Rebuke. Fourth Bridge Prowler. Either Herder. Night Market Aeronaut. Ice Over. Implement of Combustion. Verdant Automaton. It's like the two foils I got, like side by side. That's funny. Trophy Mage. I love Trophy Mage. There are so many cards that you can get with Trophy Mage and Commander. Restoration Specialist, Airdrop Aeronauts in our rare, is Rishka's Expertise. Six mana, draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. Oh, wow, green card draw. Okay, I like it already. You may cast a card with converted mana, cost five or less from your hand. What? Oh, new favorite card right here. Holy shit. Um, every green stompy deck ever is going to want that. There's a Tezzeret emblem. Neat. Okay, yeah. Every one of those cards I've seen that you cast something for free is fucking busted. That one might not be as busted in standard because it costs six. But then you get to drop a five drop, like, after drawing a bunch of cards. That seems good. Bastion Enforcer. Chandra's Revolution. Shipwreck Moray. It's a fish. It's an eel, but it's a fish. Is it Night Market Aeronaut? A the Herder. Renegades Getaway. Night Market Guard. Negate. Great spell. Renegade Map. Destructive Tampering. Uncommons. Hidden Herbalists. As I said before, the worst kind of herbalists. Whoa, this cool looking. Spire Patrol. Oh, that's a dick card. Hungry Flames. In a rare. Rishka, Pima Renegade. I like him a lot. I can make a commander deck around him, too. And he's a 2-2 two, two for 3. When he enters the battlefield, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on each up to two target creatures. Each creature with a counter on it has tap, add a green to man. He turns, oh, he turns all your stuff into mana dorks. I like that. Swamp and a servo. This one has that on it. I don't know what that is. Hinterland Drake. Wrangle. Gonna wrangle. Conviction. Daring Demolition. Natural Obsolescence. Obsolete ret Resourceful Return. Mobile Garrison. That's cool. Aether Stream Leopard. Universal Solvent. Really like this for Popper. Uncommon Scrapper Champion. Hungry Flames. Fish and Construction. 
I like that card. Might cost too much, though. And a rare. SRAM! Senior Edificer. He's a 2 converted mana cost 2-2. Two, two. Whenever you cast an aura equipment or vehicle spell, draw a card. You can super build a white commander deck around him. It wouldn't be too hard. And a foil call for fucking unity. Okay, cool. I love, I love pulling a foil rare. Alright, so 5 career and mana cost for an enchantment. Revolt. If At the beginning of your end step, if Berman you control left the battlefield for his turn, put a counter on call for unity. Creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1 for each UT. What? Commander for days. I'm happy as shit to get the... Wow, that is so cool. And it looks so cool. Three foils in there. That's not bad. Island Servo. That's probably not worth anything, but I'm super happy to get it. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I have a white... Oh my god, I have a white green tokens deck that that's just going to slide right into. Probably do a deck tech on that in a day or two. It'll be a Tristani commander deck. Aether Chaser. Chasing that Aether. Shipwreck Moray. Caught in the brights. Cruel Finality. Unbridled Growth. I really like that card. Alley Strangler. Augmenting Automaton. Implement of Examination. Aether Inspector. Implement of Ferocity. Oh, sweet. A Winding Constrictor. I need, like, as many of these as I can get. This card's super good. Super good. Ravenous Intruder. Hi, Atog. Enraged Giant. Oh, he can improvise out, can he? And he has Trample and Haste. That could be fun. Rare is Peacewalker Colossus. It's a vehicle. Three, can, three mana cost for a 6-6 six, six vehicle. Pay one to white. Another target vehicle you control becomes a creature until end of turn. Oh. He makes your vehicles just drive themselves. Interesting. we got a Plains... And a gremlin. Our last pack, guys. Tell me what you liked out of this. I'm happy for that Call of Unity over there. And the Archangel. Like, oh, and the Spire. Like, I got some good cards there. I was pretty happy with this. All right, Precise Strike. Remember, this is our last pack. Like, comment, subscribe, you enjoy this. Aether Swooper. Alley Evasion. Cruel Finality. Unbridled Growth, Fourth Bridge Prowler, Verdant Automaton, Watchful Automaton, oh, he's a giant eye, gross, Aegeus Automaton, nice, oh, he lets you bounce things, that could be fun, Countless Gears Renegade, ah, oh, Uncommons, Narnum Renegade, that seems really good, could be a 2-3 death touch for one mana, like, what? Weld Fast Engineer. Spire Patrol. And a rare. War of Invention. I like this for Commander a lot. So its mana cost for an instant is 3 blue and X. X is whatever you want to pay. And Improvise. Your artifacts can help cast this spell. Each artifact you tap after you're done activating your mana pays for 1. Search your library for an artifact, cost, uh, artifact card with converted mana cost X or less. Put it onto the battlefield to shuffle your library. You can, if you have the mana, you can dig through your deck for any artifact you want to get at any given time. I like this for Commander a lot. we got a Plains. And a Servo. Not a black rare among them. That's okay, though. I'm pretty happy with what I got there. Tell me what you liked out of this and some of the cool stuff that you've gotten. Like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, everybody, whether you're watching on YouTube or Vidme, this is Dottie saying bye-bye.